so polycystic ovarian syndrome so that's a hormonal oh, imbalance say that again so for me really slowly PCOS yeah. polycystic ovarian syndrome which is what which is when there is um a polycystic ovaries so ovaries that have got many tiny cysts and they release hormones in an irregular fashion so these ladies don't have periods every 28 days but could be 30 days and could be 40 and then next month they miss it and 60 days and it's back to 28 so this is a very irregular cycle and typically these young girls are more on the heavier side and they also could have a problem with excessive facial hair or hair hair in the like a male pattern so on the chest uh, underneath the belly button and uh, and But this is not this is not because of the woman's makeup this is because she has cysts PCOS So, P- so this is a symptom of PCOS is a syndrome okay right. the S stands for syndrome and to diagnose PCOS no blood tests okay it you need to have two out of three one is ovaries that have got polycysts, um, lots of tiny cysts on them, so polycystic ovaries, and that's an ultrasound diagnosis. Two is irregular cycles. And the third one is excessive facial hair, so hirsutism, that's a fancy word for it. So if you have two out of three, you have PCOS. And it's a metabolic condition, okay? And that means it's associated with other things, with messed up carbohydrate metabolism, with insulin resistance, and later on with cardiovascular issues, uh, yeah. Common? Common? <laughs> yes. About. I'm guessing that's um, a yes. <laughs> um, yes. I think I, I like to say that half of Maltese women have it and half of the other half oh, well. don't think, don't, don't know that they've got it. It's super common. It's, um, statistics are about 30% and more common in Mediterranean and Asian areas. Yeah. Let me get this right. 30% of women... PCOS. Potentially listening to this podcast have PCOS that may be undiagnosed, it's higher, statistically higher in Mediterranean women. And, and Asian, yes, and South Asian. So, okay. So Indian, yeah. And that these symptoms could be... Irregular cycles. Irregular cycles, cycles is, is weight the, gain, facial hair, these sorts yes, of things. Yes, yes, Is there a lasting damage? If someone has it and they don't get it diagnosed, is there yes, lasting damage? Yes, yes. Because um, it's all fun if you don't get periods, Right. But if the lining is not shed, that lining thickens, it becomes abnormal. And abnormal cells in the lining have a potential to become cancerous. So we've got a safety limit of three months. So it's important to have, if you're not under hormonal control, it's important to have a period every three months. So that 15-year-old who doesn't have periods and she's enjoying summer, but she's actually got PCOS and she's not telling her mum because maybe she's not on comfortable speaking terms with her mum yeah absolutely so That's this is one important. in three yeah and this is regardless of age regardless of age so obviously um, until menopause yeah with periods and then after menopause there are other effects because these women are heavier they have more estrogen and they also are at a higher risk of cancer of the uterus and cardiovascular issues. So there are long-term risks with PCOS. And in all fairness, women who come to me with irregular cycles, they all suspect that they've got PCOS. And then when I diagnose it, they're like, yeah, that makes sense. And now how do I deal with this? 